I was asked to speak about the HAM DNA project on April 21st, 2007 at the 9th Annual Family History Weekend in Jefferson, North Carolina. The event was sponsored by the Ashe County Historical Society, Lonnie Jones, Vice President. Uh, so I'm going to go uh, over the types of DNA real quickly, a little bit over the testing. I want to tell you about the National Genographic Project and try to, try to explain what they mean by genetic distance and how I go and chart that. And basically I want to show you a picture of the cell and this where the mitochondrial DNA is. Top there is like an unwind uh, this DNA and what you eventually end up with are repeating structures, 18GC. On the Family Tree DNA website, we got these are actual photographs, uh, chromosomes, they're about the size of bacteria. Uh, they're not bacteria, but they're about the size. We're going after the Y, y chromosome in the bottom right. This would obviously be a male, a female would not have the Y. What I'm saying, take a swab. That's another picture from the Family Tree DNA web page. Uh, it's like a toothbrush, you brush inside your cheek. Uh, you know, then there's cheek cells and this stuff. Gave some DNA terms in the handouts. STR stands for short tandem repeats. These are places in our DNA where a small number of letters will be repeated in a row. SNP stands for single nucleotide polymorphisms. In Ash County, or I 1A, uh, these markers here are what they test for. You might notice that first two are the same for all three groups that I have on this page. Uh, M168 and M89, uh, and then they split off. You get two different types of markers. And if you go to the National Geographic web page, uh, it looks something like that. Uh, I mapped this out for I1A, uh, what the uh, Dash County lines, county lines test out as. And just let's start out from Africa, uh, Rift Valley, go through Saudi. And then through the mountains of Turkey, and just run across Europe through the mountainous areas there, and finally ending up on the west coast and up to Norway. The I1A is supposed to be the highest concentration in Norway and Iceland, so that's why they call it the Viking uh, line. For uh, R1B line, the other hand group uh, from the South Carolina line, the feet. Probably be what the more more kind of hand line would look like for their uh, DNA journey. They took a different route. They went through Iran. Their mark they have different markers. What's different there is the markers change after they get past the first two markers and what they're finding around the east. Uh, Spencer Wells is testing around the world uh, and he's finding these markers this way. That's why he thinks the path went that way. Uh, and back and double back to. Uh, Europe. They find R1B1 in the British Isles, Scotland, Ireland, uh, in the west coast of uh, uh, Europe. Here's the numbers uh, for Group 1, this would be the Ashton County Group. Again. Yes, my father, Brick is my brother. Uh, my father told me before he died, he said, because I've worked on genealogy too for years and years, but I never was able to find out who my grandfather was because there was never married. There was no marriage there. It was out of wedlock. But he, told, he tried to help me. And he said, Freda, he said, I hope before I die that I find out who my father was. Was that Stanton Blevins? Stanton Blevins. In the 70s, I visited him uh, twice. And, he was the the of and he truly did not know. No, he did not know. And we were shocked, completely shocked. I didn't know it was him. I knew we had one that was raining and, yeah, and the true. third one that we can't identify. So it is helpful in genealogy. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Marvin in Texas. He descends out of the Franklin County, uh, North Carolina. He doesn't know exactly how he relates to the man who founded the ham line there, Richard Ham. But we're thinking Richard Ham. Uh, migrated to Franklin County uh, by 1800. 
from Middlesex County. He's off by three markers uh, from me. I think that translates into something like we have a common ancestor some 350 years ago. So the Franklin County lines. So I'm thinking Middlesex and the Franklin should be our related to a uh, Bass County lines. I use the uh, Dean McGee's utility, but uh, you can chart those numbers out that we just went through on a graphics package software and get an idea of uh, the timeline there. This page out of FTNA's uh, website that you can look up how that, what that means to FTDNA for the number of markers and how closely related you might be. And I wanted to tell about the Y search, ancestral Y search I did. I first uh, tried to figure out you know, what an ancestral DNA might look like 700 years ago in search on the Y search database. Uh, find out where our ancestor might be from 700 years ago. And then this chart in blue is my theoretical, hypothetical, non-existent ancestral hasn't been tested for yet, but it's in blue to show you what I was looking for out of that group. It should represent someone who had been our ancestor some 700 years ago. Went through the Y search data for it, I got at that time 1,500 matches for the search I was doing around the world. Uh, most of them have matched our group or from England that they, their ancestors were from England. Uh, so I broke that down in England, or four times, say, more likely to be from England than Germany, for example, or two or three times more likely to be from England than Scotland or Ireland. And you can break it down into folks who have indicated which counties in England their ancestors were from. And out of that, in England, uh, most of them said Yorkshire, London, and Good Current. Out of those 1,500 people, yeah, maybe 2,000 people said, my ancestors in England I know are from these counties or these areas. Uh, and I'm looking for somebody who would have who shared a common ancestor uh, 1,500 years ago. Age is not good, it'll get better in a few years. Uh, the searches will get better. Uh, what happened in England and Yorkshire a thousand years ago? A thousand years ago, you got this guy named Paul Wayne the Conqueror uh, landing, known Viking landing in the area that this survey says I'm probably is related to.